Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Autumn via 2EasyCG and in this tutorial you'll learn how to create a glazed cruller donut in Blender. We'll first start off by going through how to use curves to create the shape of the donut, then use modifiers to complete the model, very easy by the way, and finally create a material for the glazed donut. This tutorial is quite simple, so let's get started. Once you've set up your scene, click the Add button down here or click Shift A on your keyboard and go to the Curve menu and click Circle. After, go to the top view and switch it to View Orthographic in the View menu. Once you've done all that, right click on the circle and press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Then right click again or press the Escape key to cancel the movement. Both circles should now be on top of each other in the same place. We want to now deform the circle into the shape of our donut, and we can do that by pressing tab on our keyboard to go into edit mode. Now, because it's a curve, it gives us these lines with three vertices around the circle, four of them, and if we move them around, you can tell that we're not going to be getting the shape that we want. So, let's press A on our keyboard to make sure we have everything selected, then press the W key and click on subdivide. As you can see, we now have 8 sides to edit on, so go ahead and right click on the right vertex of any curve line and press R to rotate and then type the number 70 to rotate the curve line clockwise by 70 degrees. Then repeat this for each curve line on the circle, but make sure you're doing it one at a time. After you've done all that, hold the shift key on the keyboard and right click on all the outer vertices of each curve line. Holding the shift key while right clicking allows us to select multiple targets. Then press S on the keyboard and type in the number 1.2 to size it out from the object origin by 1.2. If you press tab to exit edit mode, you should have this sort of spiral star looking shape with another circle behind it unselected. Press S on the keyboard again and move the cursor towards the center to size down the shape. We want it smaller than the circle by a lot and you'll see why in a little bit. Now that we've done that, make sure the spiral shape is selected and then go to the modifiers tab on the right panel, click add modifier and then click on the screw modifier. Then go back and add the curve modifier on top of it. To make it easier, let's edit the curve modifier first. Go to the bottom and switch the deformation axis to be on the Z axis. Then where it says object, click on the dropper icon, hover over the circle curve and left click on it. This will set our spiral shape to go through the circle curve on its z-axis. In the screw modifier, we're going to set the screw value to a number that will connect both ends of the donut shape. The screw value basically adjusts the height of a helix iteration. For me, the value to complete an iteration would be about 17.15, but it's going to be different for you guys depending on the size of your circle and the donut shape. So take your time playing around with the values. Also, don't worry about the seam that appears in the model, because with the material that we're going to use, it won't be visible. Back into the screw modifier, a good angle value would either be at its default 360 degrees, or you could change it to 540. However, for me, I'm just going to set mine to 540 degrees. Finally, let's raise the steps and render steps values to 64. This essentially increases the resolution of the mesh by increasing the steps and poly counts. Now, we're not completely done yet, because if we try to move the donut around, it deforms the entire model, and selecting the circle curve it's following on still changes its shape. So, how do we fix this? Well, the cause of this is because the entire donut is still a curve. Whatever part of the curve's position is changed, that part of the model changes too, and since the entire donut is being moved, the entire model gets deformed as it moves. So we need to change the donut model from a curve to a mesh by converting it. And we can do that simply by pressing Alt-C on the keyboard and selecting Mesh from Curve. This converts the curve to a mesh, and now you're able to move the model freely without any deformations. Now with the model finished, all we have left is the material. So let's edit it by dragging this window up, going to the button on the bottom left, and clicking on the Node Editor. We can click the new button to add a new material to the mesh. Let's select the diffuse shader node and press the X key to delete it. Press shift A to add a node and search for the subsurface scattering node. We'll use this node to let light bleed through the donut surface and the overall color of the donut as well. 
We'll press Shift A again and add in a gloss shader to make the donut reflect light and glaze. And then we'll combine them both with a mix shader. For now, let's plug in the subsurface scattering node. We'll change the color to something around an actual donut's color with the color wheel. Or you can enter a color's hex value. Here I'm going to change the value to E7B47F. After you've done that, let's put the subsurface scattering node's output into the mix shader's middle input. Then the mix shader's output into the material's surface input. Then, we'll give the donut some reflection since it's glazed by putting the gloss shader into the mix shader's bottom input. If you take a look at the donut now, it is way too reflective, and it doesn't even look like a donut. So, I spent about two days trying to come up with a good material for a donut and even searched online to see if anyone had any, but to my surprise, I got no results. Now, this is hard because this is a glazed cruller donut. They have these details and textures to them from its surface and the glaze spread on it. So, because I can't find a good donut texture whatsoever or a default material for it, what I did was, instead, I used a normal map of another texture that can resemble the texture and the details of the glazed donut. So, for this part, this is my hack on creating a material for a donut. Go ahead and add in a texture coordinate node, and then an image texture node. The normal map I'll be using to resemble the texture of the donut is from Polygon.com. Now, I would put up the normal map up for download, however, I cannot since in order to receive those textures, you must be a free or paid member of the site. So, I'll put the link in the description to the texture download from the website. But if you have a normal map to use, then go ahead and use it. So I'm going to quickly scroll through my files and look for the normal map that I'll be using. It should be a purplish blue looking texture like this. These normal maps tell the software where to fake lighting, bumps, and dents onto the texture. After you added the texture, make sure to change the color spacing to non-color data, since we're not using the colors of the normal map texture as the surface textures. But in order for Blender to read it as a normal map, let's add in one more node, a normal map node. Plug in the image texture's color output into the normal map's color input. Then finally, the normal map's output into the gloss shader's normal input. Lastly, we'll tone down the glossiness through the mix shader by changing the value to 0.3. And that's it! You now have a glazed cruller donut made in Blender. Now honestly, that's my way on how to make the material for the donut, but if you have an even better way, feel free to do it yours, and maybe even let others know, including myself, know what you did in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching! If you found this tutorial or any part of this tutorial helpful in any way, leave a like to show your support and comment below your thoughts. If you want to see more videos relating to easy modeling in Blender or material creating, subscribe to the channel right now. Oh, and before I go, here's a little outtake that I did in the recording. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Autumn via 2EasyCG, and in this tutorial you'll learn how to create a glazed Color. donut in Blender 2.79.